Hi everybody, this is Nadia from NadiaSantiago.com and My Life in Fitness. You're watching another video in my I Work Out Birthday Challenge series. And today's question comes from a graduate school friend of mine, Rashmi. And Rashmi says that she's been enjoying all of the workout videos so far, but she's been experiencing some pain in her knees. She says that she thinks that her knees have become weak over time, possibly from dancing in the past, and is wondering if she should just continue to work through the pain doing things like squats and lunges that tend to aggravate them. And I have a really simple answer to that question is, I don't encourage anybody to ever work through pain, especially if it's in the joints, because typically pain is actually a sign that something else might be going on. So I'd say a definite no to that. Her other question was, are there alternatives? And yes, there are alternatives to doing things like squats and lunges that don't put any pressure on your knees at all or put such minute pressure that you wouldn't feel them. I've created a workout specifically for that, so I'll put a link to that workout in the description box below, but you can also go by clicking this link right up here. And of course, I don't wanna just leave it at that. If you're experiencing pain in your knees, there's a reason for it again. So today I wanted to actually talk about the three most common reasons that I see as a personal trainer when people have that pain during workouts. And the first one is lack of flexibility. It's really common for people to come into our studio after not having worked out in a very long time or even never having worked out or strength trained in their entire life. So most people are not used to putting that kind of pressure on their joints, but they're also not used to the kind of muscle tightness that can build once you've begun working out. This is a small tidbit about the science of working your muscles. So what happens when you are strength training is that as you are doing things like curls or squats, lunges, chest presses, you're creating small micro tears in your muscles. And after your workout, when you're resting, your muscles are being repaired and it creates tiny little pieces of scar tissue. So the muscles are um, binding back together, just as if you were to get a cut on your arm and you can see that um, as it's healing, a scab creates and the skin comes back together and it's a little tighter in that area for a while. Which is why one of the things that we really encourage from our clients is foam rolling and stretching. For all of my small group training sessions, I have my clients foam roll for about five minutes before we even start our warm up, It's kind of like getting a micro mini massage. So you're putting pressure on the muscles and it's working out those knots that you have in them. In addition to foam rolling, about five to 10 minutes of mixture of uh, dynamic warm up and stretching. The stretching is going to help lengthen out your muscles so that when you do start moving your joints, for example, to do squats, you actually have more mobility. You can get deeper into those squats. You might be able to twist a little bit better if you're working your core without putting pressure on your back. And in general, just get better range of motion for any and all lifts. The second reason that I typically see for having pain in the joints like the knees is inflammation and or soreness. A lot of people jump on the exercise bandwagon really quickly and they go very, very hard five days a week. So they might do like an hour of the treadmill one day, another hour of Zumba the next day, cardio kickboxing the next day, an another hour of running the next day. That's actually a lot of impact for your joints, particularly in the knees. What happens is that the muscles around those joints get really sore to the point where they become very weak and you're not allowing enough recovery time in between those workouts. They can become inflamed and swollen, which actually creates more pressure when you start bending them. In that case, what I would recommend is switching up your routine. If you watch one of my previous videos about weight loss and body fat loss, I already recommended that you do strength training about two to three times a week and cardio about two to three times a week. It shouldn't be straight cardio every single day. 
If you jump into a new workout routine too fast, you're likely to get burnt out, both mentally and physically. And pain in the joints is just one way of your body letting you know that's what's happening. The last thing, which tends to be a little less common, is actually a structural issue in the joint. This typically happens for somebody who was previously an athlete for a very long time and who has cumulatively put lots and lots of impact on the knees. Being a runner is a great example of that. Somebody who runs and doesn't strength train, there's not enough strength around the joints to support that long term. Also people who have been student athletes who may have been doing exercises incorrectly for their entire life, they will see less cartilage in their knees. In high school, I was actually experiencing so much pain in my left knee that I had to see the doctor. It got to the point where walking upstairs was way too difficult for me without having to hold on to the railing. Once I saw a specialist, they told me that I had underdeveloped cartilage in that knee. That was actually aggravated by the fact I had very little flexibility around the knee. I've also seen clients with no cartilage at all in either of their knees and they are unable to complete squats and lunges without that pain. In that case, I highly recommend that you see a specialist or a sports chiropractor who can not only help you um, diagnose the issue, but who can give you exercises that will help you reduce the pain and inform you of any other options you might have. Um, so I think that's it. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones and friends. If you're curious at all about my iWorkout birthday challenge series, be sure to head on over to my Facebook page, My Life in Fitness. You can either type My Life in Fitness in the little Facebook search bar above, or you can go to the address bar and type in facebook.com slash fitwithnadia. If you're watching this video anywhere other than YouTube, be sure to head on over to my channel and subscribe so that you can receive the latest videos as they come out. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna bounce now because I gotta get my workout on, but I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>